All right, everybody, from uh, your left to right, we have Demetrius Miller, head coach Derek Clark, and Reggie Evans. Coach, if you could just uh, start us off with an opening statement. Well, first of all, I can't say enough about the job Prior also did at Mines this year. They had a historical year. Um, you know, unfortunately, somebody had to win the game. Um, the way he brought this program to the level it's at right now, um, you know, he's to be commended on that right there. Having said that, uh, I'm extremely proud of our guys. We just fought. There were some times this year where we had some adversity and people were scratching their heads on some of our losses, uh, but we never, you know, doubted ourselves. We just kept coming. We got a resilient group. Um, and then uh, we got a great AD back there, John McDermott, who, you know, um, is a great support. So. With that, we'll open it up to questions. Coach, talk about that opening thing. It was 14-0. Uh, Great start to the game, kind of set the tone. What do you think? Well, I just, you know, we, we rehearsed the game plan. We rehearsed the game plan. We were going to win this game on the defensive end of it. Um, and, and the big theme was no easy baskets. So we went to a soft press, um, and we didn't do a lot of trapping like we typically do because they're, they're so well coached. They were beating our traps in the first two games. Uh, we got the perfect start. You know, I think it was 14 nothing or something like that. Um, you know, and then your confidence grows when you start the game like that. But, you know, it's about players. They came out ready to play, and they didn't want to be denied. You know, we got a couple seniors on the team, and they didn't want the season to be open. That's what it comes down to. Reggie Demetrius, could you talk about the start? How were you able to beat them after they beat you twice? Uh, like Coach was saying, it's all about mindset. At the end of the day, you know, we got to come out there aggressive, uh, get a nice little start. And uh, that's, that's what we go off of, our defense. You know, defense uh, creates offense, and that's what we did. Demetrius? Well, the main thing that we've been talking about all week is attack, attack. Because the last couple games we played and we didn't score that much. We're being very passive, and that's not the type of team we are. We're an attacking team. So the whole thing with today's game was to attack, and we came out the game very aggressive. And that's how we got out to the early league. What's your thoughts about going to the Elite Eight, all three of you? Well, this should be fun. I, uh, I don't know how the D2 Elite Eight works, but we're going to go and we're going to try to win it all. We're going to play our, our style of play. We're going to be aggressive. We're going to play defense, and we're going to see how far it takes us. Well, for me personally, this was our first big hit as a staff, you know, and, and we talk about players. We talk about administration. I want to talk about my staff. You know, they've worked incredibly hard. You know, we're just very honored to represent the RMAC at the Elite Eight. And, you know, we're going to go in there. Our whole model coming into this thing was play to win, you know. So we have a legitimate shot at, at, at being the last team standing. And, again, you know, our guys kept believing. Uh, this is my first year making it to the Elite Eight. So um, it feels really good, you know. Um, it feels like we won a championship cutting that off at their home court, you know. I love these guys a lot, you know. They've been through it. We've been through a lot of adversity this season, you know. We just had to push through. And uh, this has got us this far. Let's see how far it can take us. Reggie, uh, last, we know last year, NCAA tournament, missed a couple free throws. How much did that sit with you, and how much did that really help to the start of this game and then now going on to the Elite Eight? Uh, I've been struggling with free throws a little bit all season, but it's a confidence thing, you know. I just got to go up there and step up and knock them down. And uh, I'll be better at the, uh, the second half of the season, these, this next game. And uh, just work in the gym, you know, that's all, all it's about, you know, just getting my confidence back. Do you feel that redemption, though, coming from? Uh, yeah, yeah. I feel like uh, it, it, everything went as planned, you know, so it's good. I feel good about the win, you know, and uh, we needed to redeem ourselves. And when he, when he missed those free throws last year, you know, again, we stressed that wasn't, you know, the be-all, end-all. He missed the free throws. And, and, you know, me and she missed a couple free throws this year, and I always said, you're going to have another opportunity, you know, and maybe on a bigger stage. So. You know, we, we can't hang on to stuff. We lost the Mines twice. They're a great team. Um, get to the third game, that didn't matter, you know, what happened those first two games right there. Um, you know, the whole thing is believing in what we do and trusting the system. We've had incredible chemistry with these guys. It's uncanny having eight new guys and, you know, the way they trust each other and trust the system. They've allowed me to coach them extremely hard this year. Um, and now they see why some of those days I was really on them, you know, and they got the payoff. It, you know, like Reggie said, we won it on their home floor. I mean, I don't know if it gets better than that. Speak to that environment out there. You two in particular seemed like you really embraced it and like you were kind of feeding off of the crowd. Well, I have played it in front of a lot of big crowds, and that's what I've been waiting to see. And 
I love it because it gives me momentum and it, you know, gives me something to play for. You know, it helps me out and it gets my adrenaline going. So I really like Big Crowds and today's show. I just feed off Big Crowds, you know, they're talking, cheering my name. I use that as motivation, you know what I'm saying, just to use it on the court, you know, to, to help my team. You were giving, you were having fun with some of them, weren't you? It's all about having fun out there. At the end of the day, you know, it's all about smiles. And look, we, we, look, we smiling right now, too. <laughs> <laughs> well said. Coach, Coach, these guys haven't been to the Elite Eight, but you have. What are you going to tell them this week to get them ready for that experience? Well, first of all, let's keep the model going, play to win. I think the teams that settle in at the Elite Eight, you know, and get off that stage fright, we're going to try and keep our routine the same. We're going to stress the same way. We're going to eat the same way. We're going to go to bed the same way. Um, you know, it, we just got to calm down and be who we are. And that's what we talked about tonight. We don't need to see any different behavior because it's gotten us to this point. Well, you know, now we got another chance to make another step. But just do what we do, you know, and do it a little smarter. Talk about that guard play. I know we've talked about throughout the season. If your guards play great, you play great. I think at 60 points tonight, they played great throughout this whole tournament. Right? Yeah, they, they were a handful to guard. You know, we're pretty athletic on the perimeter. Um, and, and again, like Michi said, our whole uh, mindset was to be aggressive, you know, and see if they could guard us off bounce. And our guys took that to heart. And they made good decisions, not only when they drove it in there, you had a lot of drive and kicks. So we played unselfishly, too. Um, you know, Reggie's hit the pinnacle of his career and, you know, just the process of him getting to this point right here. And I've seen a lot of stuff that if you didn't know Reggie a couple of years ago, you, you it would be overlooked. And I'm saying a lot about Reggie because that's a senior. Paul Brotherson, a senior. Uh, I can't be more happy for these guys right here. Um, they're going to remember this. And this is how our career should end. Now, it hasn't ended. It's just begun. We got an opportunity to go make some noise. But our guards were, they were phenomenal. They played off each other. They shared the ball, um, you know, team effort. Coach, compare this, you've been in the Elite Eight. With Metro, compare this team to some of those previous teams you've coached there. Well, I've never been the head guy going to the Elite Eight, first of all. So, you know, um, I don't know. It, it, it's hard to do that. Um, every team has their own personality. What I'll tell you is I think we're pretty good on the perimeter you know, that stacks up with some of those other teams. Um, you know, it, it's very eerily similar to the 2002 team. We weren't very deep. We played about seven or eight guys. We had a couple nice bigs in there. Re really, it, it's comparable to that team right there, you know. And at the end of the day, that team cut the nets down. We talked about the depth a little bit. You big fellas got in foul trouble down there in the first half. About the same time, they closed the lead. What, was, uh, what were you stressing in there in the huddle? Well, you know, that's why we started out in the zone, because we wanted to avoid those quick fouls. Mission accomplished. Jay didn't get his first foul until deep into the game right there. So we were able to buy a little time, because they do a good job of attacking you. You know, it, when you get those fouls, you can't get back on your heels and not be aggressive. You just have to be a little bit smarter. I thought they got a couple ticky-tack fouls. And to me, I just said, if you're going to get a foul, make your fouls count. Don't No and ones. That's the thing more than just the fouls. That's what bugs me, you know, when we allow them to get the shot, too. But that's why you have guys on the bench. Somebody's got to step up in that situation right there. Any further questions? All right. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank, thank you all.